this is Jeff O'Leary, the Village Guru, Mississauga real estate broker, and in today's episode, I'm gonna do a visual walkthrough of the neighborhood in Meadowvale of Mississauga. This video is great for anybody moving to Mississauga from outside the city. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Let's get going. So today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite neighborhoods in Mississauga, Meadowvale. Located in the northwest corner of Mississauga, Meadowvale is a subdivision built predominantly in the 1970s and in the 1980s, and it's made up of a mixture of homes with a lot of parks and paths in between. Now, not to be confused with Meadowvale Village, which is located further north and east of Meadowvale, Meadowvale is very attractive to people who like the outdoors and also to younger home buyers looking for more affordable homes when compared to the rest of the city. Because in Mississauga, value tends to uh, go with how close you are to Toronto and how close you are to the lake. So it, while Meadowvale, the prices are good and they're still going up like everywhere else, they're still more affordable than other areas of the city. In terms of similar neighborhoods, Meadowvale is probably most similar to Aaron Mills, south of the 403, which was also built around the same time in the 1970s. In terms of location, Meadowvale has great access to highways 401 and 407 and also 403, so getting around Mississauga is very easy. When you zoom out, you can see Meadowvale is about 35 to 40 kilometers away from Toronto, so further than neighborhoods that are more east in Mississauga, such as Applewood or Lakeview, but still with GO Train links, it is an option if you do work in downtown Toronto. Another bonus about Meadowvale is that we're very close to Pearson Airport. So if you're someone who flies and travels a lot, it's a good location uh, to get yourself to the airport. When we're talking about development that took place in Meadowvale, there's really three time periods where most of the development took place. So first off is during the 1970s where the majority of Meadowvale was made, especially the neighborhoods that surround Lake Aquitaine and Lake Wabakane, mostly bordered by Winston Churchill on the west side and Air Mills Parkway on the east side and south of Derry Road and north of Britannia. This is the area that existed even when I was a kid and moved to Mississauga. And then as time went on, other areas developed. So when you go west of Winston Churchill to the areas of Miller's Grove and around Vanderbilt, that area was built in the mid to late 1980s. And finally, when you go further north of Derry Road, there's newer pockets that were built in the 1990s. Here's an example of a typical 1970s street in Meadowvale. As you can see, we have a, a mixture of semi-detached, and then if you go further down the street, we'll also hit more detached houses. So a wide variety of homes. Now, if we go a little further into the 1980s, you can see that the houses are more brick. They got rid of the semi-detached, and during the 80s, it, they tended to want to build more detached homes. So this is a typical house of the 1980s. And then finally, the last area, if we go further north, there was houses built in the 1990s in Meadowvale. And as you can see, they look like a lot of other neighborhoods with 90s style homes. So all brick, and you can get that idea of the, the style of the day. These homes obviously will have more bathrooms and have more modern features built into the homes that maybe in the 1970s where the style was more in living spaces and bedrooms and bathrooms were smaller. In terms of housing styles, Meadowvale has a wide variety of homes, anything from larger detached homes all the way down to small townhouses and condos. Meadowvale's got something for everybody. So first off, let's look at what you would expect in a detached home in Meadowvale. So right away, we're going to look at the older homes in Meadowvale built during the 1970s to give you an idea. So characterized here by wide lots, nice large square lots, uh, typical 70s style homes. Most homes in Meadowvale are probably in the 2,000, 2,200 square foot. Uh, people take care of the homes and uh, really far away. So compared to a newer neighborhood where the streets are much narrower and the house frontages are right near the sidewalks, Meadowvale, you do get a lot of land with your home, which is really good if you like green space and you like curb appeal. Here's another example of detached houses in Meadowvale. In Lake Court, one of my favorite streets in Meadowvale, 
you can see the houses aren't that big, but they're being renovated. The area has a woodsy feeling, lots of trees, really quiet, and lots of room compared to the newer areas in Mississauga. Now, when we talk about detached houses, Meadowvale also has a wide variety of housing styles within that segment. So, for example, they're not all just four bed detached square houses. We have a lot of uh, bungalows and side splits. So here you go. You, you can see the 1970s feel of some of these houses. Really good for downsizers, people who don't want a lot of stairs. You also in Meadowvale have some larger houses, not as many as other areas in the city, but here's a street called Barristale. And as you can see, these are beautiful homes, 3,000 square foot. Very nice. Uh, this particular street is one of the original streets in Meadowvale when there was not a lot around when they had Lake Aquitaine. So it was kind of had that cottage feeling with a little lake nearby. So that's Barristale. Now, if we go out, we'll go across the west side of Winston Churchill, which is a little newer, built in the 1980s. And I'll show you a nice little neighborhood where you're, you're looking at the more 1980s style uh, brick houses. So here we go. This is a popular area, very good school. And the houses are definitely larger than in the older area, but still you do get nice property sizes and very popular with big families. Also, there are smaller detached houses in Meadowvale. So in the 1980s, they didn't really build semi-detached houses. And what instead what they did was build very small detached houses, ranging square footage from about 1,500 square feet up to 1,800 square feet. But instead of a semi, you still have a detached house. Okay, so we've gone over detached houses. Now let's talk about a very popular style of home in Mississauga, semi-detached houses. Especially in the older area, in the 1970s area, Meadowvale, they're very popular. So let's just zoom in here. We'll find a street and give you an idea. Here's an example of your semi-detached homes in Meadowvale. Again, still a lot of frontage. The homes are spread wide apart. Good sized backyards. These homes will range anywhere from 1,300 square feet up to 1,700 square feet and in three and four bed variants. So really good if you like outdoors. The one downfall with a lot of these homes in Meadowvale is because they were built in the 1970s, most of these semis will not have two bathrooms upstairs. Now people have renovated and added in en suites, but that is probably the one biggest downfall I find with older homes is they don't have the additional bathrooms like in the brand new homes that you see built in the last 15, 20 years. But again, good area, quiet. And uh, if you like a big backyard, then this is an area for you. So moving on, for people looking for more affordable options, Meadowvale has a lot of condo townhouses. And again, these condo townhouses, a lot of them were built in the 1970s. Older, but larger than what you're going to see in newer homes. And here, here's an example of a row townhouse complex. The thing to remember about these townhouses are you are getting them for a very good price. It's all about how well the complex is run and in terms of maintenance. So on an older townhouse, obviously your maintenance is going to be higher than if you're buying a brand new condo. However, some of them are run very well. What I always look at for a townhouse like this is probably if you're in the 300 a month range for condo fees, that's pretty good for a property that's 40 years old because most of these complexes, they'll take care of the roofs, uh, the windows, all the maintenance around the area, and you are getting the house cheaper than a similarly compared uh, semi-detached with no condo fees. Here's another example of townhouses built a little later in the 1980s, all brick. Uh, this complex backs onto a park and a path. Uh, really nice homes actually, and again, more affordable than your semi-detached variants. Here's another example of townhouses located on Monte Video Road. The important thing to keep in mind about Meadowvale is there are a lot of affordable options that are well kept in nice neighborhoods. And so Meadowvale has a lot of townhouse complexes. So if you're newer, first time home buyer, you're finding prices expensive. Meadowvale is a good example of well kept properties where you can still get something for a reasonable price. So I could spend all day showing you different types of townhouses in Meadowvale, but there really is a lot of options out there for you. Now, the last option for home styles in Meadowvale are condos. Now there's not a ton of condos. A lot of, we still have rental apartment buildings that are closer to the Meadowvale Town Center, but there are a few examples of buildings that are condominium. 
And here's an example here of a, a nice building, big units, well-kept building. So there are examples of condominiums in Meadowvale. So now we're going to go into my favorite things about Meadowvale. And first off is the paths and park system in Meadowvale. Unlike most of the other areas in Mississauga, Meadowvale has a ton of pathways and also two man-made lakes, Lake Aquitaine and Lake Wabacane. They're great for walking around, a lot of wildlife and nature and just outdoor spaces. So in terms of that, this area is awesome. If I go to a website called Walk and Roll Peel, you can see Meadowvale has three distinct path systems. The first is the Lake Wabacane trail system, which circles, you can see in purple, it circles all the way around the neighborhood. And then it's also interconnected with all these other orange pathways. And again, these these are connected with parks, uh, really good walking. So that's about four and a half kilometers. And then further north is the Lake Aquitaine trail system, which goes around Lake Aquitaine and all the way north to Derry Road. Now, important to note is all these pathways do connect. So you could literally get anywhere in Meadowvale just by walking along the pathway. So it's a really good option that most other neighborhoods don't have anything near this when it comes to paths and trails. My next favorite thing about Meadowvale is the access to amenities. Well, even though we're located about 40 kilometers away from downtown Toronto, Meadowvale does have a lot of amenities for a suburban neighborhood. So we have neighborhood uh, shopping such as the Meadowvale Town Center and also plazas along Derry Road and power centers north by Argentia, but Meadowvale is also extremely close to the village of Streetsville where you have restaurants and coffee shops and boutiques and that village lifestyle only a few minutes away. And you're also close to Aaron Mills Town Center and the Credit Valley Hospital. So within a nice 10 minute drive, you're close to almost everything and all kinds of shopping and dining experiences and nightlife. Another really cool thing about Meadowvale is transportation. Meadowvale is serviced by two GO train stations, the Meadowvale GO train station and also the Lisgar GO train station for residents that live in the north part of Meadowvale. Meadowvale is serviced by the Milton GO line, which runs from Milton through Lisgard, Meadowvale, Streetsville, and all the way into downtown Toronto. From Meadowvale, you're looking at about a 45-minute GO train ride from Union Station in Toronto. It's important to note that GO service only runs in the mornings by train and then in the evening by train coming back. Most of the time, you are taking GO buses. However, in the future, the plan is to have this line running 24-7, just like the Lakeshore line. And I feel when that does happen, that property values will increase even further further in Meadowvale because now you'll have the same access as people on the Lakeshore line. Meadowvale is also conveniently located between a number of different highways including 403, the 407 and the 401. Meadowvale is also very close to the Meadowvale Corporate Center, which includes a lot of Canada's Fortune 500 companies, a lot of high paying jobs, pharmaceutical jobs. So we're close to transportation hubs with the 401, really good area for employment and access to get to where you need to go. Finally, one of my favorite things about Meadowvale is that it's built in the 1970s. And with a lot of communities built in the 1970s, there are advantages when it comes to land because it was a lot cheaper, so builders gave you more of it. So to give you an example, if we go to the satellite view of Meadowvale, you can see that the streets are winding and properties do have a lot of nice size backyards and a lot of trees in the community. Now, if we compare this with a newer community, you can see that uh, the streets are a lot more narrow, congested, things are built a lot more closely. So when talking about Meadowvale, people who like property definitely like this community a lot. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my video walk through the neighborhood at Meadowvale in Mississauga. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. I'm Jeff O'Leary, the Village Guru. Have a great day.